Hey y'all, Jeremy James here at The Bourbon Realtor with Barcels and Bourbon coming at you on this Whiskey Wednesday. All right, so missed last week. So this week we're doing a little bit of catch up and we went to Savannah on vacation and we're checking out today Ghost Coast. Ghost Coast Distilleries. This is a, um, they call it a master straight bourbon whiskey. Who in the world knows what a master straight bourbon whiskey is? Um, it's coming in at three years um, and at 86 proof. So a little on the young side, a little on the low proof side, but who knows? We'll, we'll give them a shot. I like to do a lot of, um, a lot of regional type stuff, finding out who's doing what and see what's good out there. So let's get this bad boy popped. There we go. Let's get it popped. Oh, what a nice little, pretty little pop. And we'll get it poured out. Let me... So let's take a look. So at three years, it is a little on the paler side, which I would fully expect. I do like to see that they did three years rather than two. Um, so it's got a little bit more age on it. So it's clinging to the glass pretty well, but the legs are at this point non-existent. Oh, there's one maybe one or two little legs. Let's see if we can get it rolling. It's just basically a uniform. Oh, okay, there we got some legs coming down. They were very slow to start. It looks pretty decent. It's got a little cloud to it. So I'm gonna guess a non-chill filtered or something like that, maybe a non-filtration. Who knows, we'll, we'll check their, their profile and see what they've got going on down there. Um, it's got some sediment into it that might actually bode better for the taste. Um, clarity wise, I mean, it's got a little bit of cloud to it. Not too bad, fairly clear. Um, color wise, it is on the lighter honey side. So not too bad as far as the, as far as color is, is concerned. It's, it's coating the glass pretty well. Now the legs are starting to roll. Now that I guess it's, I can't really say it's opened up because it hadn't been that long. Yeah, looks pretty decent. All right, let's see what it's got for a nose. Right away, just really, really citrus. Um, almost like a, uh, a, an orange or a lemon. Some, just a lot of citrus on this. I mean, like a whole lot. There's some, some burnt sugar, kind of like creme brulee type sugar, but without the creaminess of the, of the creme brulee. I guess it's just the brulee, I don't know. Very little astringency on the nose. It's 86, I wouldn't expect a whole lot of alcohol. I'm getting a little, little hints of oak, but mostly it's that citrus. So on the nose, just really a citrus bomb. Maybe some cinnamon in there too. Maybe just some really light floral notes. Nothing really discernible uh, that stands out all on its own. All right, so not a lot of depth on the nose. It's basically two dimensional. You have a lot of that really bright citrus smell that dominates with just this back layer of, um, of the oak and just some brulee kind of crusted um, burnt sugar kind of sweetness. just there's a little spice that might be just the alcohol all right 
So whiskey's made to drink, or bourbon, whatever. Let's take a sip. All right, so at 86 proof, it's not gonna light you up. The young age provides a little bit more of the dynamic as far as um, I'm getting a little bit of hug, which at 86 is not what I was expecting. Um, Body-wise, it's probably medium to thin body. A little bit of heat on the, on the mouth. Some of that oaky finish, it's a fairly short finish though. It's not real long. Um, it doesn't have this on second sip. I don't have that a lot of that really high heat. Um, like that first one was really warm and then just coke me or coke me. What does that even mean? Um, kind of warm me up all the way down my throat. That was really nice. I'm still getting a little bit of that, those herbal notes. I won't say like a like floral. Maybe it's like a hydrangea bush or something like that. Like the green, not the flowers and stuff. So not a lot of depth on the palate. Basically just sugar sweetness up front. A little bit of that, um, that oakiness in there as well. Not really prickly hot. The citrus is completely gone on the palate though. I mean, it's not bad. So, I think this was in the neighborhood of 25 to $30, somewhere in there. Um, I definitely wouldn't go over that. If you're in the Savannah, Georgia area and you're looking to pick something up that's fairly local, it's an easy grab. I think they've been spending a lot of their time doing some flavored whiskeys and flavored vodkas and all that kind of stuff. Um, if they're going to get serious about bourbon, I'd like to see them punch this up to 90 proof and finish up that end of that fourth year. As it is right now, with a smash, a smash, pass, or bar. If you're just looking to explore, grab it at the bar. If you're looking to add something from a different area to your bar at home, go ahead and pick it up. Am I going to buy a backup? Probably not. Uh, not at 83, at three years old. I'm probably not going to buy a backup. It's fine. It'd be a decent entry-level bourbon for someone who doesn't, a lot of, uh, doesn't need a lot of depth and complexity would like a little bit more tame um, bourbon as far as the uh, mouthfeel and the heat is concerned. Um, not bad. I mean, it's a decent starter bourbon. That's all I'm going to say. A decent starter bourbon. But I'm not going to buy a backup. Anyway, all right, y'all. That's my review for Ghost Coast Master Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Have no idea what the master means. That's just a marketing term. Anyway, um, for me, it's going to be a bar or curiosity buy. Not anything more than that until they can get some more age on it and punch that proof up. I'm Jeremy James, the Bourbon Realtor. This has been Whiskey Wednesday on Barstools and Bourbon. We'll see you next time.